Welcome to troubleshooting the M1 XEP. I powered up my Ethernet module, but I'm unable to find it on the network. So what I need to do is find out whether it has a static or dynamic address. And if it has a static, I need to change it to a dynamic address, which will force the router to give it an IP address on the network. Now the first thing I need to do is I need to unpower the Ethernet module. I actually have a jumper, so I need to take the jumper and put it on the XEP. The location of the jumper is actually right here, next to the RJ45 connection. So we actually place the jumper on. And now I need to power the XEP back up. Now the green light's going to blink five times. Now you can see that the green LED is blinking two times and then there's a long pause. This represents the Ethernet module is in a static address. I need to change that to a dynamic address. So what I'm going to do is just power cycle. I'm going to remove this for about five seconds. I'm going to power the XEP back up. We're going to go through this exact same process again. There's the five blinks of the green LED. Now you can see the green LED is blinking one time per second, which means it's now set in a dynamic setting. So I just need to remove the jumper. This will force the XEP to reboot and the dynamic setting. Now, the green LED is blinking, which means it's getting network traffic. So now I can go to the RP software and find my Ethernet module. 